Hey everyone, I've got a, I'm doing a biography on Rita Dove, and uh, alright, let's begin. Let me start off by saying Rita Dove is still alive. Um, born Rita Frances Dove on August 28, 1952 in Akron, Ohio. Married to Fred Le Bon, a writer, in 1979 with one child, Aviva Dunn, a Dove uh, Le Bon, a former U.S. Poet Laureate, which in uh, dictionary.com is defined as a poet recognized or claimed as the most eminent or representative of a country or locality. Dove's gifts as a poet were most fully acknowledged in 1993 when she was appointed Poet Laureate of the United States, the first black writer and the youngest poet ever to have been so honored. Dove is generally held to be one of America's best contemporary verse writers and was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry in 1987 celebrated for sensitively revealing personal epiphanies and black American collective experiences. She has published several critically acclaimed books of verse since her late 20s, beginning with her first volume, The, the Yellow House on the Corner, 1980. More public attention has fallen on Dove's career than on, than on that of any other contemporary African American poet. Recognized for her virtuoso technical ability, Dove represents a generation of poets trained in university writers' workshops who are sometimes chastised for their formal competence at the expense of emotional depth. Dove has distinguished herself in her capacity to filter complex historical and personal information through precise selections of poetic form. Her unusual range of subject matter, thematically and ge geographically, has earned her a reputation as a black writer unafraid to set African American culture within a global context. Dove's de uh, debut novel, Through the Ivory Gate in 1992, centers on a gift a gifted black woman named Virginia King, who, return, who returns home to Akron, Ohio to serve as an artist in residence at a grammar school. While teaching puppetry, she relieves memories of a family life, a restrictive community, and her participation in a communal puppet theater. Her viewers praise Dove for her understanding of human character, her heartfelt emotions, and her effective discussion of the topic of race. The Washington Post wrote, There are no villains here. Exactly. Just the fall from human frailty, human error, human misunderstanding, the daily tensions inherent in the ordinary family life and magnified over time, are touchingly and conceivingly rendered. Her play, The Darker Face of the Earth, had its world premiere at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival in 1996 and was produced at other venues including the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. and the Royal National Theater in London. Dove has continued reaping honors, including the 1996 National Humanities Medal, the 2001 Duke Ellington Lifetime Achievement Award, and the 2003 Emily Couric Leadership Award. She has also been awarded honorary doctorates from more than 20 uh, colleges and universities across the United States from 2000 to 2002. She wrote a weekly poetry column in the Washington Post. In 2004, Dove polished American Smooth, a collection of poetry. That's it.